Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about reviving your career. <clears throat> so let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, I am a software engineer. I have about seven years of work experience. And now I feel like I'm stuck in a bit of a rut. What do you think I should do to revive my career? Well, uh, I would say that you have to ask yourself what you value, I suppose. Uh, so, if you've been doing software engineering for seven years and you hate everything about it, and there's nothing really within IT that you're all you're all that interested in, well, then probably you've been like you're you're spent, dude, or girl. I, I'm not, I'm not sure which, uh, dude or dudette doesn't really matter you're spent you're not interested in working in this field anymore and that's perfectly fine go and do something else you've acquired some very valuable experience and it's very likely that you will be able to find something else to do with your time but if you are interested in staying in IT and you have some thoughts I think that you should reflect a bit start by just asking yourself well, like, what is it if uh, you feel like you're stuck in a rut you don't feel like you're, pro you're progressing your career or so forth what is it like uh, I, I like to say that it's better for you to picture what you want as opposed to what you don't want because what you don't want like if you just move towards something that you want you're automatically move well usually at the very least moving away from the thing that you don't want well assuming of course that the thing that you want is the opposite of what you don't want anywho so in my experience what usually happens with developers who have been working for this amount of years because this is like I mean I I have several friends who are developers and me myself like I've been here uh, a few times now where you feel like you're either like usually the case is that you're bored with the project you're bored with your role as a software engineer uh, you're bored with the tech stack etc etc there are many things that you could be under like many things that could be wrong right and so usually what I suggest that you do is that you either ask do I want to move up or do I want to move horizontally like vertically or horizontally where do you want to move and the reason why I say that is because usually if your problem is that you feel like you haven't progressed far enough in your career uh, well moving upwards in other words taking on like management type of roles or taking on architecture roles etc etc that's one way for you to to progress your career if you feel like you haven't progressed far enough as a software developer because that's the thing right I don't really know what you mean by reviving your career if you feel that uh, being a software developer isn't after seven years good enough well then what you should be looking as I said into is like how can I progress upwards and the way to do that is usually as simple as taking an interest in becoming something higher up than what you are right now having a discussions with your a discussion with your current manager things like that and usually taking a more active role and responsibility around work that is in preparation of the actual software development development and you would be surprised i think at how easy it is for a software developer with some soft skills and a, a, like a bit of seniority to move in to this sort of stuff it's actually not that hard you might have to switch company in some cases but it's usually not tricky for someone with your experience to get into a team lead position or some like you can almost think of it as initial like entry level management if that makes sense uh, but you can also have the like, maybe the thing that you have an issue with is that well you're bored with the project maybe something like that or you're bored with the work process now the standard thing that happens here is that you simply switch jobs like you figure out that yeah I'm bored with this language or this stack or this company or whatever and you just move from one place to another I do like that's the that's what I think most of the startup world survives on senior level experiences well apart from the juniors of course because we're drowning in juniors senior level experiences who got 
bored with their corporate job as some gigantic IT company or some gigantic company and decided, hey, you know what, I want to be more flexible, dynamic, work with something different, etc., etc. I want to be in more control, whatever it might be. And then they move to like a startup and usually take a pay cut. Well, not always, but in some cases. And then, like, people, like, that's the kind of the bouncing back and forth between big corporations versus most startups. You have the people who want to get a lot of money or, like, they want the stability of a, of a corporation, so they go to the corporation. And then there are the people who are leaving the corporation because they think it's too slow moving or boring or unflexible, etc., etc. So, what I want you to take away from this is basically that if you've been working for X amount of years, so seven years in this situation, and you feel like you're stuck in a rut and you want to kind of revive your career or something like that, well, then you really have to ask yourself, like, what is your end goal? What is the thing that you feel like you are lacking? The thing that you can move towards? Create yourself a goal and start moving towards it. Because if you hate everything about IT or you feel that it's boring, well, then maybe a different role is more to your liking. Maybe it's time for you to, well, I've, I mean, I have people who I've, who I know who've got bored with just software development and bent into computer science and machine learning, security. Uh, they became ops people instead, etc., etc. Or like in, uh, even s switched from like one, the most extreme case was he decided that he didn't want to work as an IT manager anymore because he had tried to go upwards and he still felt that it was unfulfilling and he became a beekeeper, he became a beekeeper instead. So there, you can completely change track as well. If that is not the thing that you're like feeling, you're, you're still interested in IT, then really take a look. Like Look around, see what is more interesting than the thing that you're doing right now, because there's so many tech stacks, so many different companies, so many different projects, and uh, if you feel like your career hasn't gone the way you want it to go, and you actually just want to make more money or have more responsibility or whatever, well then start looking around for ways for you to increase your impact on the work that you do. That's usually the way that you get to be a manager. Have a great day.